this in the sky. Tickle in the booty in the sky. Famicom Wars. This is probably one of those, like, SD Gundam kind of games or something, I bet. If I was just a just guess. But I'm probably wrong. Oh no, it's probably gonna be like, uh, one of those strategy games, like Advance Wars, of course. Yeah, it's a, it's the first Advance Wars. Oh man, that's gonna take up like at least 40 tiles. made a giant dick with an extendo dick in it epilepsy man nice to see you yeah that hurts please stop ooh 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 check it out i don't have to play this Well, now I need to know what they are. This sounds like Star Tropics. I can't put a name to this one. They're both pretty cool songs, I guess. Even though we only heard like three seconds of the other one. Well, let's just sit back and relax and enjoy the show for a few minutes. I'm sure even these dumb IQ computers know what they're doing a lot better than I would. Fuel check! part where two people fight each other already. We're in the boring chest section. Communists have part of that building or something. What? I guess that's like fortifications that make them stronger to fight against. I wish I could speed this up more.
They're doing very similar things, but there is some differences, and I wonder what made the differences happen. Just random jets? That building belongs to the communists now. So I guess the point is whoever owns the most buildings at the end wins. Or I guess the more buildings you own, the more stuff you can make, which overwhelms the other side. I'm just guessing here. He's making a move! For the love of God, please. Somebody just attack somebody else so I can stop watching this. I was to guess red's doing better so far, even though blue has the, uh, kind of went forward like that. Uh-oh. It's about time. Dude, they just got fucked up. Hardcore. Red's winning! The communists always win! I want to go a little longer. I want to see what blue does next, because I think there's going to be a ship storm coming. Dude, Red's going to fuck him up so hard. They managed to survive. Those commies are really tough. Every time I see that guy shout go and point upwards, I'm thinking, Agents are go! I want to see Red just unleash hell. Next turn, if he doesn't do it, I'm done. Tank battle. Alright. Oh yeah, here it comes! Wait, that's not what I wanted you to do! Is 
Sounds is slightly disappointing so far. So little explosion. Well, yeah, that's enough of this. I think we've seen plenty. It's one of those chess-like games that I definitely wasn't going to play, and the only reason we saw this much is because it let me play itself against itself. So, uh, yeah. I, I never got into Advance Wars either. I just don't like this kind of game. The only one of these I ever got into was Shining Force. And Tactics for a little while, I guess. Brex! Before I look at all the stuff for sale, I need to make sure my audio levels are still normal. They are. Okay. So what do we got? Oh my god, look how much money we have! It's been so long! I gave myself some extra money at some point because of a thing, I remember. We got a 1-Up Mushroom. High quality. Lucky Nico, plus 9 to agility, dances to the limit. Really cheap. Blue Rupee, plus 9 to charisma, but it's refurbished. Got the worst sword of mana in the history of the universe. Just a generic, fairly good quality golden idol. Fluttershy, high quality, 6 to con, made in China, first month free. My god, it costs nothing. Uh, average quality Nintendo. And a higher quality idol. Whew. Man, like, we have so much money that we can buy whatever. I wanna get this. I wanna get that. I wanna get you. I don't think we need a 1-Up Mushroom. Why doesn't the Nintendo ever have any benefits? Everybody was wrong! It was a Genesis game that did the start with a quest, and it's a freaking strategy board game. Sega! Doo -doo. Ba -doo -doo. Damn, that lasted forever. Well, let's take five seconds and get this over with. Three times, maybe. Ugh. You know what? No, you're probably right. I'm gonna- I'm gonna show this one for five minutes, tops, and then we're just not gonna look at three or four. I'm gonna take them right the fuck out, because they're all the same goddamn game. All of them. I hate these things. I hate them. Oh yeah, they're numbers games, not strategy board games. Fucking numbers. Zero players. Let's have a demonstration game of what we're not gonna play. probably more interesting than... Oh yeah, I do remember that. <laughs> Plus four sharks fucked. Best of the best. Someday I'm gonna add more stuff for Brax, but I can't even find the time for new mascots. Why would I go improving the old ones other than the, uh, the graphical overhaul I did on a lot of them? I know, yeah. I'm gonna let it play itself, because I wouldn't know what the fuck I'm doing. Let's let this horse go around visiting countries. Damn, this guy's popular. He's got 3,000 popularity. My Mitomo doesn't have nearly that much. I'm already bored. I, I, I'm already bored. I want to die. Well, while this is going on, I'm going to be over here in the Genesis folder, moving the other ones out of it. Because, wait a minute, I have to open 4 now because it's for the 32X, and I bet that makes it so much better. Let's just do that now. 
Didn't even have to do anything special. Don't have to worry about cutting the video. Let's just open up 32X version and look at something amazing like this cool text intro. That's worth the 32X processing. Get some text all up on the screen. Fuck the 3D graphics or an animated intro or anything. Not text. It was a quiet night in the Misty Mountains, and there were numbers to be had in countries. These numbers were about to duel each other. You've never seen a number duel quite like this, people. The Misty Mountain number duel has gone down in history as the most bloody, merciless number duel of all time. This duel has been formatted to fit your screen. But then one day a giant angry Mario China guy came up from the sewers and he was like the size of buildings and shit and he was like my numbers are bigger than your numbers and I'm gonna set your numbers on fire. And everybody's numbers burned. They burned in the night. But then the Misty Mountains were known as the Burning Mountains because no numbers survived that day but his. Except one man's numbers on a quest for vengeance. And his uncle's numbers too because he was cool. And let's not forget about their nephew's numbers. They survived as well. And their great grandpa's numbers. They came along for the ride. And don't forget about the prince's numbers. The prince was on vacation at the time. All of these people's numbers formed the Number Slayer group. And the Number Slayer group vowed that they would destroy the Super Sizer with spurts of dragon spit. Romancing Kingdoms 4. 32x. Press start. I just not yeah I did it again let's watch stuff happen everybody's celebrating because I don't have to do anything now we're really seeing that 32x in action look at these sprites they look good I guess They just like high five with spears. Sup, Plucky Fox? I don't know who you are, but welcome! We're watching numbers do nothing all day. Like, seriously. Oh god! Back in my day, I had to walk both ways downhill in the rain. Wasn't quite as bad as uh, F bomb guy. Not quite as bad at all. Walking downhill both ways in the rain actually could be pleasant on summer days around here. Why did all the rivers just suddenly glow like they were irradiated? This is way too early for radiation. Yep, I'm bored. Let's stop playing Romancing Kingdoms forever. This has been a waste of everybody's time. Now that we got Bonk, it's gonna be something shitty. Ultraman! Ultraman, yeah! Sega!
I guess it would make sense that Ultraman was on Genesis in Japan. Where else would it be? I was not expecting that. Just the like Godzilla coming up with that little bleep. Moogle knows where it's at. Fox is all the way. <laughs> I had to press start like 15 times. It's still not responding, in fact. There we go. Oh god, it's this game. Oh god, I can jump! Is there like combos? Can combos be done? I grabbed him. Alright, I can grab him. That's cool. Yeah, yeah, this is going great. This is going amazing. Yep, I like how this works. This is great. I just need to kick him in the nuts a lot. Yeah, back up. Keep backing up. Oh no, he learned my technique! Get over here and get kicked. This is working amazingly. No! I accidentally did something cool! How do I finish him, though? Do I just have to kick him again, or... No! I'm gonna have to do a special move to finish him, aren't I? God damn it. How do I do the special moves? Oh, um, I, I did it. I don't know what I did, but I did it! Yeah! I don't know if this kick's gonna work on this guy. Who is this? Tesladon? Telusdon? Dyslexia. Oh my god. He's immune to the kick technique! I'm doomed! Hey, why can I fall down without getting specialed? Dick face, he's got a big dick face. He's got the body of a dick and the face of a dick, and he flies through the air. Cause I don't like this game anymore. I'm done. Ultraman! Nope. Fighters. Especially Genesis fighters. Oh boy, what a surprise it is, Jackie Chan, that we didn't see earlier a second ago. No, don't do it! Ugh. Well, that happened. Now it's gonna be a sports game, but it's not on Genesis. Super Pinball behind the mask. What? What mask does Pinball have? Somebody said Pinball? Well, good on you for guessing Pinball, I guess. Oh, there really are masks.
Did I press the wrong thing? What the? Oh, here we go. Oh, shit. There, I fixed it. <laughs> Alright. I'm, I'm curious as to what Conquest is. Uh, let's do it. This music's so, like, chillax. It's amazing. Ready. Don't you do it, say ready me. Seems alright. Feels okay. Why do I have to look at you every time? Stop. What this music is, is very quiet. Let me, uh, boost that some. Get ready. So everybody, when you play pinball, are you a button and d-pad kind of guy, or are you an L and R kind of guy? Because L and R feels like it should be the correct choice, but it's not. I like button and d-pad. Something about using my thumbs just feels better than using my, uh, my index finger. Mystery! Yes, you can tilt the machine. I've never understood what that does. Does bumping it really help that much? You know what this is lacking? A lot. This is a boring, boring, boring pinball machine. It's got some good music, though. Board! Let's try this thing. Oh good, I can choose the other two now. Let's check them out. Kind of mostly just interested in listening to the music. As quiet as it is. Oh god. <laughs> Good luck! I want a Star Fox pinball machine. Like a custom made Star Fox pinball machine. One of a kind. I really hate this flickering, like, pretending to be a screen thing it's got going on because it's really annoying. Board. Ready. 
It sounds like it's about to go into a, an Enigma song. Enigma? Is it Enigma? It sounds like it's about to go into Age of Innocence, is what I'm saying. If you know what Age of Innocence is without looking it up, then you have as bad of taste in music as me when I was 16. I still love that song, though. Luckily, it has escaped the Enigma and gone straight into, like, Sonic Caves, Mystic Cave Zone. This music sounds really Genesis for some reason. And it's, it's like getting quieter every time it plays a song. I feel like I would enjoy this more if it said Warlock. Why did it say too much English first? I just wanted to see it say too much English again. Yeah, we're done here. This is pinball. It's boring. It's really boring. I would rather play Atari pinball than this shit. That's how boring this is to me. Why? I don't know. I don't know what it is about Atari pinball I like, but it's like one of my favorite Atari games. Maybe you guys agree with me. I don't know. Too much English. Too much English in this game for me. <laughs> 